One of the most difficult challenges in the world of mechanical design can be a blank sheet of paper. Today I've been tasked with redesigning this rocker arm to make it as lightweight as possible while still keeping it strong enough that it won't break under the expected loads. Now in the past, to do this, I would have needed to do a long drawn out process of essentially guess and check, making a design and then testing it either in a real world prototype or using computer simulation. And I would repeat my iteration on this design as many times as I need to. Today I'd like to talk to you about another solution, a program called Solid Thinking Inspire. In Inspire, we start from the original design and let the computer iterate on the geometry for us, calculating what is ultimately the optimal shape for this part to be to get the best strength to weight ratio possible. Let's take a look at how this works. I want to start by defining my original part as the design space. This is the area where the optimization is going to operate. I'm going to simplify it first by removing a few of the lightning cuts that have been put in it from the previous design. Those might be areas where I want to include material so that I can remove more someplace else. And ultimately, the total volume of my part is going to define the maximum spatial envelope on which the optimization can operate. So I want to include as much as possible. Next, I'm going to set up the boundary conditions for my simulation, and that's very easy with Inspire using the structure tools. Inspire automatically guesses where I might want joints based on the geometry. And it's very simple to start adding forces or any other relevant boundary conditions. In this example, I'm going to build up a number of forces so that I can create multiple load cases different ways that I expect this part to be loaded up in practice and the optimization is going to optimize for both the jump and incline load cases. I'm also going to add in a shape control, in this case a split draw, so that when I run my optimization it's only going to generate geometry that can be approached from both sides so that the part can be cast from a simple mold. When I'm ready to run my optimization I choose from simple options like whether I want to maximize the stiffness of the part or minimize the mass. I pick a simple mass target and if needed I can also optimize for frequency constraints or buckling. I hit run and after a short wait I get my result which is the optimal shape for this part to be given the constraints that I've placed on the optimization. This is the absolute lightest part that will hold up under these loads. And at this point I could remodel the part again from scratch using this as a guide, or I could use the polynerb tools in Inspire to wrap a smooth geometry onto this calculated shape to get a part that I can take straight to my manufacturing process. Inspire is being used in a wide variety of industries, anywhere where we're doing mechanical design and we can benefit from reducing the overall mass of an assembly without affecting its strength or even making it stronger, you can imagine this being a big deal. If you're interested in learning more, please check out my upcoming webinar or reach out to your local Trimec representative. Thank you.